how to assemble your polyzylon furniture, Adirondack chair, or rocker. Before you get started, make sure you have everything that should be included in the box. That's five Durawood sections, your hardware, a square head drill bit, and an Allen wrench. You'll also need a standard screwdriver, a rubber mallet, and an electric drill. Turn both the chair back and seat sideways, aligning the two pre-drilled holes on the top and bottom of both pieces. Now grab four of your barrel bolt assemblies. You'll use two on each side of your chair to attach the seat and back together. You'll notice that the barrel bolt is always inserted into the outward facing surfaces of the chair. And the barrel bolt fastener, which has a wider head, is always inserted into inward facing surfaces. Hand tighten each assembly first so it stays in place. Then use your screwdriver and Allen wrench to tighten fully. If you're having trouble attaching your barrel bolt to its fastener, try gently pressing both the fastener and bolt together while turning the fastener counterclockwise. As soon as you hear a clicking sound, turn it clockwise. After you've attached two barrel bolt assemblies on one side, flip the chair over and repeat on the opposite end. Now it's time to attach your arms. Leave your chair on its side and grab the corresponding arm from whichever side faces upwards. Fit the chair arm's half inch circular opening to the white cylindrical peg on the side of the chair seat. Then rotate the arm so that the pre-drilled hole towards the rear of the arm is aligned with the pre-drilled hole about midway up the side of the chair back. Again, you'll be using barrel bolt assemblies, two on each arm. Tighten to a firm fit with your Allen wrench and screwdriver. Attaching the back part of the arm can be a little tricky. You'll want to drop the barrel bolt into the wide opening at the back of the chair arm. Then use your Allen wrench to screw in the bolt while you apply pressure to the fastener from below with your standard screwdriver. Once one armrest is secure, you can flip the chair over and repeat the same process on the opposite side. For our final step, we'll be attaching a spreader between the front two legs. Place something like a roll of tape or a small block of wood underneath the bottom front leg of your chair. It'll create a flatter working surface for your mallet and drill. Set the spreader in place, fitting the tenons on either end into the mortises on each leg. Step on the bottom leg, then pull firmly on the top in order to create space for your spreader to fit. Then use your mallet to hammer the joints into place. Grab your electric drill and complementary square drill bit and drill in one of your flathead screws into the outside of each leg to secure the spreader. Once you've ensured that all of your screws and barrel bolts are tight and secure, take a seat in your chair and sit for a while. You've earned it. Or, if you purchase the Polly's Island Porch Rocker, you've got one more step to complete. Set the chair to its side and attach one of your rocking slats to the pre-drilled holes near the bottom of the front and back legs. Ensure that the pointed end of the slat faces towards the front of the chair. You'll use the same barrel bolt assemblies as in previous steps. Flip over, repeat, and ensure each connection is firmly tightened. Now you're ready to rock the afternoon away.